Good afternoon, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ryan Yamamoto. We're just one hour away from the memorial service for the late Senator Dianne Feinstein. Let's give you a live look right now at San Francisco City Hall, where the late Senator will be remembered for a political career that began in this very building. It was a career of many firsts and one that eventually took her to Washington, D.C. And we're expecting a who's who of local, state, and national political leaders to attend this afternoon's memorial. Here's a look at the U.S. Senators boarding buses this morning just outside the U.S. Capitol. They have now arrived in the Bay Area to attend that service, a show of support for a Senate colleague who many of them served with since Feinstein was sworn in back in 1993. And the area around City Hall is now under tight security. Now, initially, the memorial service was going to be open to the public, but partly because of all the dignitaries, it was made a private event just last night. There is now a perimeter around City Hall that will keep people far back to see or hear the actual service. Instead, people are being told to watch the service, which we are live streaming on our CBS News Bay Area stream and our sister station, Hicks Plus. But one person who is there, Julia Goodrich, is live from the memorial at City Hall. Jules, you'll be out there all afternoon for us. And I guess already people are starting to arrive for this memorial. They certainly are, Ryan and Liz, and what a fitting day for a memorial. If you look at the backdrop behind me, we're in front of City Hall. This is where Senator Dianne Feinstein started her career, her long career, as the first mayor, the first female mayor of San Francisco. As you were talking about security, yes, this is not open to the public. Dignitaries are coming in as we speak, and so even the media, and myself included, had to go through security procedures just as if you were going to the airport to be checked out. So we are here waiting for the service to begin at 1 p.m. Um, and a number of speakers will be at the podium today. Vice President Kamala Harris will be addressing the crowd here as well as Senator Chuck Schumer and a number of others. I also got a sneak peek at some of the rehearsals that were happening. There was a lovely chorus that was singing. They were practicing just before getting those mic levels ready. And um, I saw them as they were preparing the flags. Um, it is just a beautiful day. I will say it is warm very warm, but I think that's not going to take away from the moment here. And so many people are paying their respects today and they're talking about the senator and telling some really amazing stories. And I want to share one. This coming from San Francisco Fire Chief. And take a listen to this story. Back in the 70s and 80s when she was the mayor, she used to carry a turnout coat and helmet in her car. And uh, she used to go to fires with different, uh, uh, with the chiefs and uh, she's just a huge supporter. In addition, uh, the first women came into the San Francisco Fire Department when she was mayor. I love hearing these stories and the behind the scenes and everyone calling the senator a friend. Yes, she had a long history in politics, but she was a community member, she was a leader, and she was a friend. She was also a family member. And as we uh, are waiting for this memorial, I want to show you, we have aerials showing you kind of the, the scene around here. There is a perimeter and people are starting to come in. And yes, we will be showing this live on KPIX and also streaming on PIX Plus as well. Let's also hear from a former aide who worked closely with the senator back in the 90s. Listen in. Dianne Feinstein destroyed tokenness for women in politics. She destroyed it. You know, Dianne Feinstein became the mold for women, powerful women in politics. And, and uh, you know, you, you can't say that about, about, you know, women who just break glass ceilings. She actually created a wake that pulled a generation of women into politics. And as you can see, this is video from yesterday when it was public. People could stream into City Hall and pay their respects and sign a book. And this is where we really heard those heartfelt interviews from residents in San Francisco. Some saying they didn't even know the senator, but they felt so inclined to come and pay their respects. Others saying that they had met her face to face in person and had taken a photo with her. And she was there for a wedding ceremony and just happened to pop in and, and so was so was so gracious to take a photo with them. So it is really fun to hear those personalized stories because it, it really gives you a sense of the genuine human being that she was. And so we hear our back out live here in front of City Hall. And as I take a look behind me, 
kind of keeping a watch out for people that are showing up and some of the dignitaries. I don't think that they've arrived quite yet. We'll certainly keep you posted. We'll be here all afternoon covering this event.